I'm curious how you would organize this landscape for people yeah. and how you think about people using these tools in their real lives in the near future. Yeah. So when we were getting started on this about 10 years ago, I thought that something like this was going to be the ultimate product for everyone, right? You get to um, you know, normal looking pair of glasses and we'll continue improving that, that can have full holographic images. I think it's, it's super powerful and it is sort of the science fiction future that I think we all hope to get to. Um, on the journey, we took a few other approaches as well um, to help us develop towards that, including building glasses that don't have displays to try to learn. Just take a stylish pair of glasses today and put as much technology into it as you can, but really focus on the form factor. And that's the Ray-Ban Meta glasses, and it's doing really well. And initially, we thought that that was sort of intro product for us to learn how to build this. But one of the things that's clear now is you're going to be able to make that product a lot more affordable than this, probably permanently. So I actually think that there are going to be a bunch of different of these paths that we've taken are going to be kind of permanent product lines that people will choose. I think you'll see displayless glasses like the Ray-Ban Metas continue to get better and better, great for AI, no display, but you can talk to it, it can talk back. I think that there's gonna be something in between these that's basically a heads up display. So it's not a 70 degree field of view, maybe it's a 20 degree or 30 degree field of view. So that's not gonna be what you want for putting kind of a full hologram of a person or interacting with the world around you. But it's going to be great for, you know, when you're talking to AI, not just having voice, but also being able to see what it's saying. Yeah. Right? Or um, being able to text someone with your wrist-based neural interface and then have their text show up rather than having it read to you, which is, it's, we read faster than we can listen. Or getting directions, right? Or um, just being able to search for information and get all that. So there's a lot of value for a heads-up display. That will be somewhat more expensive than the displayless glasses, um, but somewhat cheaper than this.